Hey guys, check this out. Some researchers just dropped a paper about an AI that uses computers like we do. Yeah, with the mouse and clicking around and everything. They're calling it Agent S and that's pretty wild. It's supposed to do all the complex tasks on its own, just like a human being would. So this is called Agent S, an open agentic framework that uses computer like a human. So what do we have here? We have Agent S, an open agentic framework that enables autonomous interaction with computers through a GUI aimed at transforming human computer interaction by automatic complex multi-step agent. Agent S it aims to address three key challenges in automated computer task. First is acquiring domain specific knowledge. Next is planning of a long time horizon. And third is to handle dynamic and non-uniform interfaces. Now they have proposed different cool ideas. Now one of them being the experience augmented hierarchical planning method. So this is a planning method which is based on hierarchies so it depends on the level wise it is interdependent steps and when we say experience augmented it means that it is augmented or enriched with domain specific knowledge or online web knowledge so online web knowledge provides up-to-date external knowledge it also has narrative memory which contains high level abstract task experience from the past interactions it also has episodic memories, which gives it a more step-by-step self-task -step experience on the task that we are trying to do. So if you look at the results of Open OS World uh, Agent S, OS World is another benchmarking multimodal agents for open-ended tasks in real computer environments. So we have environments that can be tested and we can test out our instructions, or we can test out our LLMs if it is able to perform well in different OS world environments that we have. So this paper makes use of this OS environment to test and give out the results. So you can see that in the case of working on operating systems, uh, working for different office related applications, daily uh, applications, professional applications and workflows, Agent S performs better than the OS agent, OS world. Now, talking about the uh, the contributions in Fofol, so as you have seen, they have they are putting forward a new agentic framework that integrates experience augmented linear, experience augmented hierarchical planning, self-supervised continual memory update, and an agent computer interface for the multimodal large language model-based GUI applications. They're proposing an experience augmented hierarchical planning method. They extend the concept of ACI to GUI agents, allowing the multimodal large language models based agents to operate computers more precisely. And they have conducted experiments on OS world to show the effectiveness of the new system that they have designed. Now we can go to their GitHub uh, page and check this out. So this is the official page of Agent S and there are a detailed set of instructions that you can go ahead and test it out for yourself. A more simplified version is given here which is OpenACI and you can go and test it out yourself using the OpenAI key. Of course we have uh, solutions apart from OpenAI API key as well so we can use Olama or local models or any hosted environment. We can use Grog, we can use Entropic and it's pretty fun. So going back to the paper, we see that we have this. So let's say we have a human being which uh, asks uh, the agent, can you help me to calculate the total sales, average monthly sales and generate visualizations. So this agent as is equipped with different tools. The first is the external knowledge. So online web search. So it gets the reply from the online web search. Then it has narrative memory as well. So which is, for example, I did similar task in doing calculations in LibreOffice calculation using the, uh, use the formula sum. So it has some memory in narrative memory as well. 
episodic memory step by step to sum and select the cells we do agent.type then agent.drag and drop so episodic memory gives a step by step execution memory narrative memory it's like a long term memory and it helps remember things that it has done in the past online web search provides real time memory or real time information which can be thought of as a memory but no so we have this planning so the planning is like this first we'll calculate the total sales then we'll calculate the average sales then we'll go to create uh, to visualize next we divide the uh, task into subtask and we execute that so that is agent computer interaction and ultimately through the interface we go ahead and execute ourselves so this use case could be you know preparation of uh, different videos working with different softwares and the list goes on and on i'm really excited to try this out and i'll be back with more examples and i'll be back and i'll be back with real world examples using agent s in my workflow showing you how do i use that workflow to do my everyday work so that's all if you want to check the fine tuning exercises how you can fine tune your own models for your own use case check out this video if you want to support this poor channel you can support in patreon there's so many members who are supporting and i thank every one of them for joining my patreon please check out my patreon and i will see you next time